everyone, I'm Tosh from supercouponlady.com and today we are going to make Valentine Calzones in the shape of a heart. It's a yummy recipe your whole family will enjoy. Alright, let's get started making our Valentine Calzones. First you need three cups of flour, one cup of warm water, Three tablespoons of oil. I use olive oil. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil in yours. One teaspoon of sugar. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And one package of yeast. I use the highly active yeast. That way you can just put it right in your recipe. You don't have to let it puff or anything like that. So make sure you get it all in there. Get it started. Alright, if you don't have one of these mixes, which is great to have, it's super easy, you can just use a bowl and a wooden spoon. Mix it really, really good. Once it starts getting mixed real good, then kind of grease your hands up and just get in there and knead it, knead it, knead it. Alright, if your dough ends up being a little bit too sticky, just take a little bit of flour in your hands and just put it in there. It needs to look like this, where it's coming off of the wall as you're mixing it. All right, now our dough is ready, and it is still a little bit sticky, which is fine. What I do is I put a little bit of olive oil on my fingers and make sure to put some in a, in a bowl. Get it all around there. Get your dough out. See? Get it out. All right, then get it in the ball and put it in here. All right, wasn't that easy? All you have to do now is cover your dough, let rise and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and just wait about 45 minutes and we'll be ready to make our heart valentine calzones. Alright, so now it is uh, real puffy and kind of double, so punch it down, get it all down there. And then you want to get a good floured surface. Put a bunch of flour, get your dough out. And I usually make this for my daughter, even when it's not Valentine's, for her lunches. It's so easy, and she loves it, and she eats it. You can make a bunch, and then put them in the fridge, or even freeze them, and then you'll have them for them. So, um, I'm going to separate it out, because I can make four of these. So, I'm going to just take one of my little sections, and press it out really good. You want it to be far, and you may need to get your roller if it won't really... Um, you know, spread thin for, enough for you. Can I roll it? Yeah, you want to try to roll uh -huh. it? Okay. Hey, Mama, mm -hmm. it's video. Yeah. Video, please, Mama. Okay, okay. All right. Video it. Yeah, Daddy's videoing it. Oh, sorry. All right, here, let me turn ah. it over. Good job. All right. Turn it over. All right, turn it over. Yeah. All right, and the chef. All right, roll it out. How All right, so then you're going to roll it out. This will make one of the hearts. Good job. Now can I cut out one of the hearts? Yep. Okay, so now we're going to do the hearts. Excuse me, sweetie. We're going to do the hearts by hand. You can use a cookie cutter if you want to, but it's just a lot easier to just do it by hand. So, all right, hold on. Now let me. So I got one of my sections. Like just kind of shape it like a heart as best you can. Ooh. It's going to look more defined afterwards. Okay. <laughs> so then it's shaped like a heart. Oh, it feels good. Does it feel good? Feels All right, so then get your sauce. Now, you want to um, have thick sauce, like a real thick pasta sauce or a pizza sauce. And if your sauce is too thin, um, a, a little trick in order to thicken it up is put some canned pumpkin in it. It makes it even more nutritious and they don't even know it. You cannot even taste it. So put your little sauce in there, about a tablespoon or two. Belly, you want to put some cheese on there for us? Just take a little cheese and put it in there. What are you making? Hold on, we're making some calzones. All right. for, for, for what? For Valentine. Can I eat it? No, you cannot eat it. Please. All right. All right, so then shape the top like a heart, too. Now, I'm just doing cheese and sauce in mine, but you can add any type of um, vegetables. You can add green peppers, onions, broccoli, whatever you like on your pizza or anything like that. 
Now, in order to make it stay together and look more defined like a heart, just take your fork and go around the edges all around them. And um, that'll help keep it together. And then when it cooks, it'll help it look more like a heart. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish and make the rest of these. So we'll have four in all of our Valentine Calzone hearts. All right, so I made the last heart. I got four hearts. Bake it at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown. And then you'll be ready. All right, that sound means our calzones are ready. Yeah, it's done. Let's see how they turned out. Yeah, one minute. They're beautiful. Okay, they are finished and they look and smell delicious. So spray them with some spray and throw a little Parmesan cheese on there. Serve with a side of sauce. And you have yourself a wonderful Valentine calzone. Let's break in this baby and see how it tastes. And don't forget, you can make these any time of year. I usually make them, like I said, for my daughter for school. And um, I don't usually make them in the shape of a heart, but you could. I bet they would love that. So here they are. Oh, my gosh. They look so good. And then you could put any type of cheese, vegetable, anything inside of them, and serve them, and they will love it. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Very good. All right, thanks again for joining me on Yummy Recipe Monday where we make Valentine Heart Calzones. Make sure to join us each week right here on supercouponlady.com. And um, don't forget to join our discussion over at facebook.com slash supercouponlady. And let us know in the comments below what your family thinks of your Valentine Heart Calzones. I know my family's going to love these. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's.